Hello, it's Jakob from Flamingo Fixed. I'm going on another bikepacking trip in 10 days and today I'm gonna pre-pack my setup to see if I have everything and also the setup changed quite a lot compared with the last trip that I did. The trip will lead me from Basel to Barcelona which is about a thousand kilometers. I'm gonna go with some friends and we have four to four and a half days time to reach Barcelona. Rather short, rather quick. The setup is very minimalistic, very reduced. The weather in Swiss in April is very different from the weather in the south of France and the north of Spain, like in the Mediterranean. So therefore, I have quite a variety of clothes. But yeah, let's start and I will show you what I bring this time. Let's start with the clothes since I was talking about it already. I have my cycling shoes, socks, I don't know, three or four pair, gloves, again, underwear, one long sleeve kit, a short sleeve kit and a short arm base layer. Then continue with the technique department, kind of big as always. So my phone, an external battery, uh, batteries for the cameras, the action cam, the point and shoot camera, uh, bicycle lights, charger, and that should be it. The hygiene department, a toothbrush, toothpaste, a file, razor, um, sunscreen and uh, disinfection gel. Here is my sleeping stuff, inlet for my sleeping bag, my inflatable sleeping pad, a pump sack for the sleeping pack. In here is my new self-made tent that weights uh, without, without the poles, I think 380 grams. And this is my puffy jacket, my rain jacket and my sleeping bag which will be compressed to about this size because that's actually the stuff sack for the sleeping bag. And poles here, extra cord just in case, like multi-purpose tools here, a hex wrench, a spoon, a spare tube and two levers, then a top tube bag for snacks, my super light backpack, the seat bag and the frame bag that's already attached to the bike. The difference with this setup is that I took the small tent because it's sometimes easier to find a place to put up your tent. Well, that's why I decided to make this tent and to go with this tent. We don't want to waste time on searching sleeping spots. And um, then I made a couple of changes to the bike. As you might see, I've got a new wheel set in here. It is actually brand new. I mean, I built it a couple of months ago, but I haven't really used it so far. Uh, I will ride these because I want to ride my new wheels and they look pretty. But also, again, it's gonna be rather quick between 200 and 250 kilometers a day, mainly flat. And therefore I want to be as aerodynamic as possible. Then I switched the bike to the Cupshine Proline chainring and sprocket. So this is a 1128th chain now. It's just quieter and more efficient and I needed to replace the old chainring anyways. And the biggest change, I drilled some holes in this frame and now I have a bottle cage here. Since I don't need that much stuff, I can leave the small down frame bag. I won't take a handlebar bag. Um, I don't really like them and uh, I don't have that much stuff. Usually I just put my hygiene stuff in there. Ah yeah, toilet paper. I need to get toilet paper to add to this list. Also this time I'm not alone. If I forgot anything at home, the others might have it. A couple of uh, masks also and maybe a rapid test. I will change the pedals. The SPD pedals won't stay on. I will go with SPD SL pedals again. I have the computer mount. Uh, in front of the stem now which makes it more comfortable also because you don't have to look so much down you can look more straight or just move your eyes when you want to look at the map so that's the changes that I made I will pack everything and put it on the bike and see if everything fits this is how it looks when everything is packed I left one kit out because this I will be wearing my phone and the camera I will have in the pocket somewhere like this is the worst case setup regarding to the capacity of the bags but worst case means it's 17 or 18 degrees plus sunny so i don't have to wear the puffy jacket or the rain jacket and i have to carry them in the backpack i could probably fit them in here 
but as I said before, I really like to have them available easily without you know repacking the bags afterwards. When we are still on altitude in Switzerland, it's probably a little more cold and I will be wearing the long sleeve setup and have to carry less then. But for the other days, uh, when we're at the Mediterranean, it's probably appropriate to have the short sleeve kit with me. I will try to weight everything, including the bike, and let's see where we get with the full setup. Without anything, 66.4. Now, wait this now. So, 80 kilograms. So yeah, that's the setup for the next trip. 80 kilograms complete, including myself at the moment. I was waiting everything, including an empty water bottle, the cycling computer and everything else. Like that's exactly how I will go. So that means 13.7 kilograms, 13.6 kilograms of equipment. I think that's okay for these temperatures. I don't want to make a promise, but I think the video that I'm making about last year's trip around all the 80 cities uh, will come out in May. I'm in the last steps now and it will be like a full 90 minute documentary but you know it just takes me a little longer. I think for this trip I will make it a little bit easier. I also got a couple of other trips planned for this year so I can't take one year to edit each video. Stay updated, subscribe to the channel, uh, follow me on Instagram, I will probably post a couple of uh, lines and pictures every day that we're on the tour and then see you on the streets and in the next video. Bye!